It looks and sounds like any other barber shop, the buzzing of clippers, a little music in the background, and some talking. Terry McMiller started his barber shop business nearly 30 years ago. It's been some journey. But I'm a successful business owner now, you know, been married, what, 25 years, um, raised two beautiful kids, you know, man, that my son's taking over my shop, my daughter, she's a, she's working at um, Alabama One Credit Union. So I'm proud of my kids and I'm proud of, you know, what I've accomplished. But life could have gone differently for Terry McMiller. He had a challenge with little help to overcome. I grew up really illiterate, you know, I really didn't know how to read at all and it created behavior problems in school. Terry would do anything to avoid being called on to read aloud in class. Put my head down, try to act like I'm asleep, um, get in trouble just so the teacher could send me to the office so I wouldn't have to read. So it wasn't that I was a bad kid, I was just too embarrassed to admit that I couldn't read. He couldn't read, but he was smart. He doesn't blame his teachers for not recognizing that he needed help, but he wished they had. All they had to do was just focus in and say, hold on, Terry is having trouble reading, let's, let's get him some help and that would have helped me tremendously. It wasn't until I graduated high school and I knew that I would have to be able to read to be successful in life. So I forced myself to learn how, you know, picking up magazines, books, asking Siri, okay, what does this word mean? You know, so that's when I went back to barbering school just to show true to myself that I can read, I can be successful. So for years now, when a young man like Dontavius is waiting for a haircut, Terry can't resist. It's only a dollar, but it comes with a word of encouragement, maybe a reminder of how important reading is and how it's an important part of your future. Terry even has a name for it. But I lay down one night and the name just came to me. Call it, I am my brother's bookkeeper, you know. And I was like, wow, I'll just call it that. So whenever kids sit in my chair and they read a book, I pay them a dollar. You can learn a lot in a barber shop just by listening to grown-ups, listening to their stories. And if you have to sit and wait, why not read some and maybe even make a dollar? You see a young man sitting in here reading a book to you. See yourself in them a little bit. I, yeah, man, that's my passion. If I can, every little boy that I can put a book in his, in his hand and he can read, I see it as me getting a second chance in life. You know what I'm saying? So it's personal for me. A lot of people won't really admit that they couldn't read. I couldn't read. It was horrible. You know what I'm saying? I've gotten a lot better. It's still a struggle every day, but I've gotten a lot better. Terry McMiller made me choke up a couple of times, and he says he gets the same way when he thinks about a little boy that struggled to read, now helping other young men not be afraid to just keep trying. That's the Spirit of Alabama. Mike Royer, WVUA 23 News.